In May, Jody Arias was convicted of slaughtering her ex-boyfriend, Travis Alexander, stabbing him 27 times. Mm. And before a jury decides if she'll get life in prison or the death penalty, the series Deadly Sins looks at the sex and lies that led to the murder. Take a look. The angelic-looking blonde is the devil in disguise, the farthest thing from Mormon marriage material. You'd think Travis Alexander would be a happy boy cavorting with a sex object who will do anything he desires. But this romance has gone off the rails. And before long, she's stalking Travis like a heat-seeking missile. <laughs> Please welcome the host of Deadly Sins, Darren Cavanoki, and the author of Picture Perfect, the Jody Arias story, Shauna Hogan. Thank you so much, Darren and Shauna. So now, after hearing the evidence that Jody slashed his throat, she stabbed, she shot her lover, uh, Travis Alexander, Jody was convicted of murder. Now, what sentence do you think she's going to get? Well, I talked to a lot of people in the court of public opinion. Okay. People tweet to me. I've talked to Jody's former cellmate. I've even talked to jurors that were on the case the first time around. Right. And if that public opinion is any indication, she's going to death row. She's one oh of the God. most hated people in America ever. Shannon, you contacted her in prison. Right? I spoke to someone who, who talked to her in prison. And, and does she feel sorry for what she's done? Mm. I think she has a lot of remorse, but only for herself. Only for having to spend the rest of her life in prison or for being put to death for what she did. When it comes to Travis or what she did to his family, she feels no remorse. And, and I've spoken to her cellmate, too. She definitely, as Shannon says, she's got remorse for being caught. She's got remorse for having to go through all this. As far as killing Travis, no, no way. way. What is her life like? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, 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 why is it taking so long? Why is it taking so long to come to this decision? Well, she was already About convicted, so she was convicted of first-degree murder. Right. And then we now have a penalty phase because the prosecution was seeking right. the death penalty. Right. The jurors couldn't agree unanimously on whether she should get death or life in prison. The way it works in Arizona, when they have a hung jury in mm -hmm. that scenario, mm -hmm. they actually have a retrial yep. now just on this issue of mm -hmm. whether she gets death or life. Now, you know, you got Travis, who's this uh, clean-cut Mormon. Then you got his beautiful girlfriend. I mean, is there anything that people don't know about their relationship versus what we've heard? Yeah, I, I think the number one thing that people don't know about this case is that by day, Travis Alexander was a clean-cut, upstanding Mormon who had taken a vow of chastity. Mm. But right. by night, April he's getting super freaky, and not just with Jody Arias, but with other women, too. Yeah, I mean, you said that he was pretty adventurous in the bedroom. Well, yeah, to make sense of it, in, when I was, like, exploring his character, I really kind of had to see it as if he was my brother, he would have been the best brother in the world. If okay. he was dating my best friend, he would have been a yeah, really? and, and, I mean, to say adventurous is to put it mildly. We're talking about some pretty pedestrian stuff like sexting or or um, or phone sex, but it got really, really heated with photographs and bondage and fantasies of him tying her to a tree and taking her up forcibly. So, and, and so I'm going to assume that this all comes from people who say they were his lovers or stuff oh, that you've yeah. overcome, but this feels a, a little bit, and maybe I'm wrong, but are we trying to people here? No, and by the way, let's be crystal clear about this. This is not that Travis Alexander deserved to die because he was engaged in a little bit of a double right. life, okay. but I think there's something about this that really shows his humanity, that he's fallibly human, just like all of us, really. I mean, he, if you look at the court of public opinion, if you look at the public commentary about Travis Alexander, people think of him as some kind of superhero. He wasn't that. He that was, was a defense, real human that he was, being. You know, that he yeah. wasn't, you know, this superhero. Well, there was more to it there. I mean, her defense was all about... The, uh, look, her defense shifted. This was really yeah, shifting sands. Initially, her defense was, wasn't there, don't know a damn thing about it. Right. Then it became, I was there, but these two people dressed as ninjas did it. Right. And then it was, oh, well, I did ninja. it, but it yeah. was oh, self-defense. Yes. So well, what, she had, what, what, what is prison like for her now? What, she, she, these conditions are not she, great. She did tweet me, by the way. I know, <laughs> like, I know. <laughs> Jody Aries is following She's yes. following me and she tweeted me. I was like, oh my God, I don't, I don't even know that. <laughs> well, she can't uh, tweet. Obviously, she has no internet in jail, but she can make phone calls and she has enough followers that she's able to relate these, relate these tweets and they put them on Twitter for her. But jail is no picnic. She has, she's in her cell 23 hours a day. And she it's was just there. What's that about the green baloney? Oh, 
Yeah, not a great diet. Fed a diet yeah, of green bologna alive. and stale. And she's yeah. still selling she's her artwork. Alive. Absolutely. And she makes great money on it on eBay. And she's she uses that money to support her funds where she's calling herself a victim, which continues to victimize Travis's family. And people, by the way, they're outraged by the idea that she could be tweeting you. But as Shanna says, she's not doing it directly. And she's even people are in custody. You're allowed to have a conversation with people say, on the outside. This is absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much. We want to thank Darren Cavanoki and Shauna Hogan. Don't miss Deadly Sins tomorrow night on Investigation Discovery. We'll be right back. Wow. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Up next, a scientist is revealing how he found out he has the mind of a psychopath.